All right, how about this example? Determine the magnitude of the moment produced by the force about the segment OA of the pipe assembly. So, I want the magnitude of the moment about an axis. Do you notice that this is a magnitude about an axis? So, for moment about an axis, Moment about an axis. For moment about an axis, m equals u dot r cross f. Right? m equals u dot r cross f. And this is the magnitude of the moment. All right. So uh, what axis do we want? This is axis OA. So this would be u OA. All right? All right? Whatever what you want, whatever the, the moment you want about that axis we would take the u of that axis, all right, dotted with, now this r goes from the axis to the force, from the axis to the force, and then the force is that 300, but <clears throat> we've got to write it in ijk form. All right, so I like to write, write that out, u dot r cross f, and then let's break it up into three small problems. Here's a problem, hey, what is the u oa? Here's a problem. What is a good R that goes from the axis to the force? And then here's the problem in itself. I'm just giving 300 right there, and it's dimensions. I've got to break that up into IJK. So let's break it up into three bite-sized pieces, three small problems. Once we get those three, then we'll look at the big picture, and then we'll do the, um, the U dot R cross F together. All right. So I want the moment about segment OA. So here's segment OA. So it's really kind of asking, okay, I don't really care the total moment, but how much of how much of is of that moment is rotating about this OA axis? You know, that force right there seems like it might cause some rotation about the how much, what's the magnitude just about that axis. I'm not really concerned about any other uh, axes, uh, just that one. So let's let's find. Let me do this maybe in blue. Let's find the U of the OA axis. Well, what's the U of the OA axis? The R of the OA axis divided by the magnitude of R of the OA axis. So what's the R of this axis? So generally, I go from O to A. Uh, just, you know, the first, the first um, letter to the second letter. Um, and just how far does it go? So, so really, I'm looking at this axis so let's see how far does this axis that that position vector how far does it go in the x it goes three in the i and four sorry point three in the i and point four in the j and that is the r divided by point three squared point four squared take the square root so this u this unit vector right here 0.6i plus 0.8j. Check that off. I've got a good unit vector. Put a star by it. I'm going to come back and use that. All right. So that's a unit vector. You generally unit vectors. We're going to do um, r over r. All right. Now let me do this in green. Uh, what is this r? It is not this r. These are very different r's. Okay. This one that we're looking for right here needs to go. From the axis to the force. It needs to go from the axis to the force. So, so what is an R that goes from the axis to the force? Well, we could go from O to C. All right, we could use R, O, C. Uh, but we could go from anywhere, right, anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the force. We could go from A to C. Or R A C, or we can go from O to D. R O D, or from A to D. We kind of have three op four four options here. R O C R O A C O D anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force. So just choose the the simplest one. Choose the simplest one. But, and you can double check all four of these. You can, you know, try some different ones. You will get the same answer. Uh, and so I am going to use maybe the simplest one 
is OD because it only has two components. It only has two components. It's 2D um, vector. So ROD. How far does it go in the X? 0.5. It goes nothing in the Y and 0.5 in the Z. So 0.5I plus 0.5K. All right, and don't divide that by its magnitude. Why? Because the equation calls for an R, right? Why did we divide this one by its magnitude? Because the equation called for a U, right? A U is a unit vector, dimensionless, magnitude 1. But this R is not a unit vector right here. Um, we need to leave it in whatever it is. It needs to have dimensions of meters, all right, so there is the R that I'm going to use. You can use a different one and see if we get the same answer. And now let me do the force. Force. Uh, can't just plug in 300. And got to um, break that into its components. So if I have a force and I know the magnitude and I need to break it up into co its components and I see dimensions. Do you see dimensions here? All right, I see dimensions. We're going back to what we did few weeks ago, I think F equals FU, where U is R over R, and this is a different, even a different R than all those other R's that we had been using. This is the R of the force. So this is going to be 300 times, all right, so this is the R of the line of action of the force. So this is R C D C D. This is F C D U C D. All right, we're only looking at CD. So for RCD over magnitude RCD, um, we're looking from this point to this point, that line of action. How far does that go in the X? Starts point 0.1 off the wall. It ends point 0.5 off the wall, so point 0.4 in the I. How far does it go in the Y? It goes back point 0.4 the J. How far does it go in the K? It was at a height of 0.3. It ends at a height of 0.5 plus 0.2 whoops, plus 0.2 in the K. Divided by the magnitude. Why am I dividing this by the magnitude? Because the my process called for a U. Right? My process called for a U. That's kind of the main thing. U's, you take R divided by R's. But R's, you just leave them as R's. Okay, can't emphasize that enough. That's going to be a big mistake that a lot of people make. <clears throat> All right, so multiply that through. And the force. Let's see if this makes sense. 200, mm, 200 in the I minus 200 in the J plus 100 in the K. That's my force right there. Put two stars by it. And... Check it off. So you see, I tried to kind of color coordinate this. I kind of broke this up as three separate bite-sized problems. What is the U of the axis? What is the R that connects the axis to the force? And what is the force written as a vector? There we go. I think I've got them all. So now I can do my determinant, my cross product. The magnitude of my moment equals u dot r cross f and so across the top i'm not going to put i j k i'm going to put my u what is my u 0.6 0.8 0.9 0 0.8 and nothing in the k component what is my r my r right here uh 0.5 in the i nothing in the j 0.5 in the k it's very important to put those zeros kind of as placeholders when you don't have a um, component in that direction and then my force 200 negative 200 100 all right how do you do your cross product I'll show you how I do mine first the so instead of uh, normally I have like an I out here but instead of the I I've got that 0. 0.6 and what do I do I, I kind of cover this up you can't see what I'm doing I'm covering this up with my finger and then I'm crossing that minus that Okay, C cover that up with your finger, cross that, minus that. So this would be um, 0 times 100 minus 0. 0.5 times negative 200. And we're going to multiply that times 0. 0.6. Minus, that's just the definition of the cross product. So my 
my point eight instead of my J. And I'm going to cover this up with my finger and cross that minus that, right? Cover that up with my finger, cross that minus that. So this would be, uh, f let's see, point five times 100 minus point five times 200. And then my last component you know what? I'm going to multiply it times a zero right out here so it doesn't matter what is in there. Multiply it times a zero uh, is a zero. And so I'm just going to add these together. So there's a number right here, and then there's a number right here, and then just add them together. And I would get the magnitude of the moment about the OA axis. It this came out to 100. Came out to 100. It needs units. It does not need an I, a J, or a K. It does not have an... There are no I's, J's, K's anywhere in this determinant when you dot two vectors together. So there we go. The magnitude of the moment is 100 Newton meters. So that is the moment that is rotating about this OA axis. Now, it came out positive, which means it is in the direction that I set this unit vector which was kind of from O to A so the moment is is rotating about using the right hand rule rotating over the, over that OA axis right there which we could have kind of told from the figure all right so let's take a step back and overview i noticed it was a moment about an axis so that's u dot r cross f Get a good U, get a good R, get a good F, and do the cross product. Add them together to get the magnitude of the moment about that axis.